Hello everybody, Floppy Hat Photos back here again for their unboxing and today's little video is going to be of Impact Sport Electronic Earmuffs by Honeywell and Howard Lett, I believe is how you pronounce his last name. These are just a little set of earmuffs that have an MP3 jack input. Actually, I guess anything with a headphone out would work. Um, I might eventually add a Bluetooth um, receiver into that head, headphone jack to remove the cords. But I think to begin with, I'm just gonna see how I like it with the cord plugged in and go from there. They have reactive hearing, whole bunch of really cool little things about it. And I found them on sale for an amazing deal. I thought I'd give them a try. They are a 22 decibel um, reduction, which is not amazing, but it's pretty darn good considering the fact of what they are. So there's a whole bunch of technical stuff in the back here. You can find the website about frequency, um, how much it knocks out different frequencies and whatnot. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and get this thing open here and it's got that little perforated cardboard box that seems to never quite open up right, but yeah, and again, it didn't. So, ironically, one of the things I find interesting is I ordered these from Amazon, and these are actually not the ones I ordered. So. I'm gonna have to do some looking to them and see what I think of them and go from there. And what we have, I almost missed that. Looks like we have the instructions glued to the back. And the instructions look like it's really just a single sheet of paper. Shows you how to replace your batteries. And then it shows you how to adjust it up here in the top left. Shows you how to turn it on and how to make it smaller to store back away. And then a frequency chart in the back. So. Let's see here if I can get the rest of this out of here. Got a pair of batteries. They are actually Duracell, which is rather interesting. Usually don't see that in pre-packaging like that. These are some Chinese knockoff. Uh, there's also the um, dual male 3.5 inch or 3.5 millimeter um, headphone jack. So you got the little cord there. I don't know how long it is. I don't think it's set anywhere, but I've got a longer one in case I need it. So. This is them. You can see the, well, maybe you can't, it's not gonna show up here in the light. You see it's got the embossed um, name up there on top. And maybe they'll open up here. Yes, they will fold down for me eventually. You can tell, I don't know if you can really see here or not, but they are surprisingly thin, not real thick um, in size compared to some of the other ones. That's your turn on your off button. Now if you can hear it or not, then you turn the volume up. They have microphones built into both sides out here in the back on both of them. So you actually have stereo um, output. Like, you know, so if you're, let's say you're somewhere and you hear sound coming, that's like a scary sound, like a car's coming to hit you or whatever, you're out with these, you know, hunting or something and you got your gun, you're going to know what direction it's coming from. It does feel a little bit narrow right here. So, I don't know until I get that on my head, but that's, I'll come back and do a better review on it and go from there. So basically all we have is Impact Sport and they're, they feel nice quality. They really do. So I'm going to throw them on my head real fast here. Well, without them even being turned on, they do slide down here a little bit to get a little longer um, fit on your head, which is nice. And without them being turned on, they muffle out some sound, not as much as some, but I think they have the interactive, which is gonna make them a lot quieter when they're actually powered on and going that way. The other thing I did like about them, they have about a 350 hour lifespan on the battery, and they also have an automatic four hour shut off. So if you take them off, throw them down your workbench or whatever, and you go off and forget about them, they will not just drain your battery just straight through, you know, 10 days later, it's gonna shut off after four hours automatically. So I don't know what happens if you've got them on, you're working an eight hour day, I guess you would just notice the sound would get louder or whatever. You had to turn back off and back on again. So anyway, that's all I got for right now. I will talk to you guys later. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.